With the sun still rising, the youths trickled into the Gracemere sale yards, ready for a seven hour drive to Barcaldon. We're taking hay, um, I believe others have got toys, there's um, dog food and horse food. More than 120 people from the city determined to help those in the country. 86% of the state is drought declared. And, um, we've had rain and they haven't, so yeah, we just thought it's our way of doing something. Just as a little show of appreciation to, to let people know we're thinking of them and yeah, we started making phone calls and the next thing it just got huge. <laughs> There was time for some last minute safety checks before the convoy hit the road. Taking in the outback, running into the locals and stopping only to refuel. When they finally arrived, it was all hands on deck to unload the precious cargo. It's brilliant in the way that we can, um, we're not having to go and source hay for the few workhorses and um, alpacas and and the few potty sheep that we've got left. Locals say the best thing about this charity drive is not just the donated goods, but the 100 people are staying the night here and spending their money in a town that's been hard hit by the drought. Important every, every single cent that comes into these communities at the moment uh, is, is, is worth a lot to small business as well as the graziers. And it's all come just in time for Christmas. Makes it limited finance you got go a little bit further. But the greatest gift would be rain. Elise Edwards, ABC News, Barcaldine.